Welcome to this video on joints and unions. You can download the workbook to follow along. Often it can be the case that you want to use data from different data sets. And there are two basic ways to merge data sets in Tableau, joints and unions. In a joint, we're combining the columns of two data sets, whereas in a union, we're merging the rows of two or more data sets. For example, what if I had obtained the CO2 and CO2 per capita variables that we had used in previous videos in two different tables? CO2 and CO2 per capita. In that case, I would have to connect those two tables. To do that, I choose my first worksheet as I've done here, and then I drag the second worksheet right next to it. As we can see, we now have the columns of both data sets lined up next to each other. And we can now work with both CO2 and CO2 per capita. We can also see that region, country code, and country name are in both data sets. So we might want to hide these duplicate columns. By clicking on the join symbol, we can manually adjust two things. We can change what fields are used to match up the rows. Here, year has been used automatically as that field exists in both data sets. And we might want to add country so that the countries are also matched up. Second, we can choose the type of joint that we want. These options basically determine what happens with missing values. In an inner join, as selected here, only rows that contain data in both tables are joined up. If we were to use a left join instead, we would also retain any rows that are in the left data set, even if there is no matching data from the right-hand data set, meaning that the cells in those fields from the right-hand data set would then be empty. Now let's look at unions. Unions are another way to merge data sets. While in a join, we merge different columns for matching rows. In a union, we would do the opposite. We would merge different rows for matching columns. That is, you're stacking two or more data sets on top of each other, rather than aligning them next to each other. This is often used when more data comes in during the project, and you want to append the original data set by adding more rows to it. Let's look at an example. Here we have our CO2 data for different countries around the world. But we also have a sheet that contains the global emissions for all countries together. If you want to use both sheets say to calculate the fraction of global emissions that different countries are emitting, we would need to union these two together. We do that simply by dragging the second spreadsheet on top of the first until we see the orange box appear. When we display the 11,000 or so rows of this data set, in the preview pane, we can now see 
you see different rows from the different tables. First, the rows from the first table, and then further down, the rows from the second table, displaying the values for the whole world. Tableau tries to match up columns with identical names automatically. Should you ever find that two columns did not match up, perhaps they are labeled differently, you can merge them manually by going into the menu and selecting Merge Mismatched Fields. Finally, notice that Tableau has added two new columns that help us identify where the rows originally came from. This can be very handy, especially in combination with the split function that was shown in the previous video. Sometimes you can extract meaningful information out of these columns and use them in a new variable. This concludes this mini-series of videos on the data preparation features in Tableau.